Let's talk about Birdie in All About Eve, 20th Century Fox, 1950. Birdie is the maid and confidant to a Broadway star. Birdie's played by Thelma Ritter. The Broadway star is played by Betty Davis. The name is Margot Channing. And at the center of her problems is that Margot fears aging because her industry on Broadway does not seem to have any work for her past a certain age. Apparently only ingenues are available to Margot, and Margot is, um, you know, 40, so she's feels that she's aging out of her roles. Although today, as we speak, we have Sutton Foster, a, uh, an actor in her 40s, who's playing Marion Peru, a character in her 20s, for the Broadway musical The Music Man. But Margot feels that she doesn't have long to go. This leads to a great number of conflicts, and Birdie is there to witness a lot of it. Birdie is useful in two ways, probably more, but I only thought of two, two ways. One, she is a former onstage talent. She is Margot's future. And two, because she's been in the business or around the business for most of her life, and she's older than Margot, she's the first one to intuit that there is something manipulative and manufactured about Eve. Now let's talk about Eve. Eve is young. She can play the ingenue very easily. She's at the beginning of her career, but we don't know that yet. All we know is what she calls herself, a tongue-tied, gushing fan of Margot. She gets to meet um, her favorite actor backstage in Margot's dressing room where all her friends are gathered and tells them her story. Eve claims to be a war widow and claims that theater basically is healing her wounds. Everybody in the room just has the greatest empathy for her. Um, Everybody has a conscience except Eve, but we don't know that yet. All we know is she's just told a tragic story. And the first person to speak is Birdie. She says, what a story. Everything but the bloodhounds snapping at her rear end. Now, this is meant as a moment of levity for us, the audience, having just heard a tragic story. But it's also Birdie intuiting that Eve is manufacturing something. We don't know it yet. We will later know that Eve is a liar. She was never a widow. She is never married at all, and she's basically willing to lie, cheat, and steal for anything. We later also learn out that she might be a bit of a psychopath. So it's she's she's manipulating. She's acting. She's performing. So to have Birdie, the most experienced person in the room in the entertainment industry, to do a quick review of the performance is quite clever. That's what saying a story everything but the bloodhound snapping in her rear end that's a review like a theater critic perfect for somebody who's been in the business that long but she doesn't even know that she's doing that it's that's the that's the Mankiewicz touch um in the screenwriting because she intuits manufactured stories very easily Birdie is also the first person consciously to figure out that something's not quite right with Eve. It would take a while, but she figures it out. And, you know, that famous scene where she says uh, to Margot about Eve, it's like she's studying you, like you was a play or a, a book or a set of blueprints. How you walk, talk, think, act, sleep. She's the first one to say that and consciously realize that not everything about Eve is accurate or correct or right or true and it would take a long time before all the other ca- other characters catch up to what birdie already knows instinctively and then knows consciously so it was very very clever to have the most experienced seasoned ex performer be the first one to notice an actor when she sees it it's absolutely fascinating very clever and back a little bit to the first point i was trying to make that Birdie is Margot's future. As I say, Margot is desperate not to be kicked out of the entertainment industry. 
She wants to continue to be an actor with a stage. Birdie is an ex vaudevillian. Birdie is an actor without a stage. So Margot is looking at her future every single day in the person of this ex vaudevillian who's around all the time. And it scares her. And as Eve makes her real plans known, she wants to usurp Margot's throne, as it were, as if there isn't enough room for two women on Broadway, but apparently Eve doesn't think there is, and she's going to just take all the roles or that Margot wants to have. It, there's a through line. Eve, the new performer, the new actor, the person who first becomes an understudy and eventually takes over Margot's role. So Eve is an up-and-coming actor, a new one, and then Margot is at her peak, and then Bertie is a is a former performer. She's an actor without a stage. So you can see that through line through the three women, the three actors at three different stages of their careers. Very fascinating.